Hi, in today's video, we're going to be doing a video review for YouTubeo, which opens tomorrow, Monday, August 31st. So anyway, we're going to take a few minutes to go through the sales page, and then we're going to go into the inside to show you what's inside the dashboard and what the uh, product looks like. Let's go back. I just want to remind you that every time I do a video review, I'm doing it usually through the mindset of if it's good for a newbie or not. These are products, and I'll let you decide if it's a product for you or not. That's not my decision. You own your own business. But I'll go through and through my years of experience of buying products like this and being disappointed time and time again with things that were shiny objects. I want to go through YouTube video today, and we'll go through and look at the sales page and then what's under the hood for you to see. So, anyway, YouTubeo, and we look at the sales page, it looks, sales page, very honestly, doesn't look exactly like a normal spammy sales page does. It's got more of a serious look about it. They do have a lot of information here, a lot of things that this, this um, app is doing for you. But the biggest thing I came up with as I'm going through this and examining it is just keep asking myself, why? Why why would I need this product as a newbie? And again, they're making it easy as one, two, three. And like I always say in my site, say it with me, folks. It's always about the numbers, but it's never as easy as one, two, three. So let's move on. We're going to look at under the hood. Under the hood, the dashboard, YouTubeo. When you come in, this is what the dashboard looks like. Okay. I got looking at this and I said, wow, I've seen this lately. So I dug out a couple products I've seen in the last month, month and a half. Here's a product called Zing. And it actually has all the same features. Video creator, channel master, template manager. Search engine, keyword finder, exactly the same things that are in this software. So I'm looking and somebody obviously white labeled this and some developers have hopped on it and made it their own product. So which is all right, they're welcome to do that, but I want to make you aware of it. And here's one I did actually did a video on just a couple weeks ago called Six Figs. And again, it's got the same same things going on here. And I'm serious, folks. Put six figs in to Google and you come up with what this is going to look like. I you can go to my, my YouTube channel, Digital High Road, and check my review of six figs to see what I mean. It's exactly the same program. So, but anyway, I kept looking at this and I said, well, that's neat, but then why? You now, that's neat. Why? And here's something, auto reply. I just wouldn't recommend that. You know, if, you, if you're opening a YouTube channel and you're a newbie, why would you want to reply with an auto reply? Because when you first start out, first 50, 60, 70 videos, you don't get that many replies. And when you do, you want to treat that with kid gloves. You want to respond personally to it and tailor make the response something that would mean something to the person who wrote the comment. You wouldn't want to have a one-size-fits-all comment, you know, as a reply to what they wrote to you. So I just I don't understand. <laughs> I guess I don't understand what the mindset is, why, you know, except the fact that newbies are going to see this and think it's something they need. They don't need it now, but three months from now when I have more of a channel, I'm going to need this. Not really, and I'm going to show you why in a second. So YouTube, you know, the dashboard looks like this. It's got all these things like template manager, channel manager, search engine, keyword finder, auto reply. I want to show you a few things. Now, if you go into my digital high road channel, what you're going to have is I have TubeBuddy, and TubeBuddy already has a 
feature where you do comments. Now in these comments I replied, each one of these replies has been done as a individual perfectly responded um, comment to the person that wrote the comment. Not one size fits all, it was not an auto comment. And you can see down through the comments are pulled together in the channel. Now, if you want to look, now if we take a look at the inside of one of my, my better videos. Everything that you need is in here. If you're new to developing a YouTube channel, you don't need this thing here to put all your stuff in and build your channel. YouTube already, already provides that for you. And you have all kinds of areas here you have to fill out and prepare when you're going to publish a video. Or if I find two or three, four weeks down the road I need to change something, you can always come in here and add takeaway tags, whatever, you know. I can change my description. I can follow through. I can check analytics from YouTube, you know, comments, subtitles, their settings, all this stuff is in YouTube already. So I really don't need this. So as I'm going through this here, or if I had six figs, I'm going through the same thing here. I'm trying to figure out why I spent the money on this product when I already have everything I need in here. Now, if you're inexperienced, you're going to be influenced by a sales page like this. Because you don't know if you need it or not. But let me tell you, you don't need it. Now, if you get to a point where your channel is growing, then <clears throat> what you should do is sign up for TubeBuddy or TubeX or any of the other services where you're going to pay, but you're going to get good service. You're going to get things that will help you. You know, VidIQ. You get things that help you with developing your channel and making the right decisions. You know, I saw something over here. I think there was a um, thumbnail. I don't know where it was. But thumbnails I do through Canva. You know, I don't need to do Canva's a free service. So I don't need to come in here to do it. Okay. And I was looking at the training. On link wheels I talked about in a previous video. I would stay away from them. Build your channel properly. White hat. Now here's training. Training, you're going to provide how to create comments and reply, reply templates, how to link YouTube channel. I don't know what any of these things, what they're going to do for you. How to open a video splitter app. How to create subscription campaign. You see this? They didn't even spell campaign right. You know, that's how much they care about the product. It launches tomorrow. It's not even has even been spell checked. I'm just saying, folks, that compared with what you can get with the channel that YouTube provides, YouTube provides training as well for you on areas in here that you need help with. I just can't see that you need something like this. You know, to, to be you know, this lack of training basically here. Because a lot of these areas, when I go to them, it just there isn't a lot here. Okay, playlist manager, upload a video. Okay, what's that going to do? I already upload a video. I don't need to schedule my video upload. I do that on YouTube. I come in here, I can schedule when I want it to be published. If it's a new video. Okay, they've got everything in here, folks. Everything in here. I don't need to go somewhere else with it. I don't need to buy another product. I just... You know, I'm looking through this product and I'm just feeling that I just don't know where and you get traffic from from where I'm hooking up I'm hooking up social accounts. Okay, what kind I'm hooking up my YouTube channel. For what? I just don't know what I'm doing it for. There's no training in here. What am, why am I doing this? I know there's a demo video that comes on the sales page. I know that. Okay, so you get down through the sales page. I know that there's a, a demo video through here. Like I said, this doesn't look as salesy, but these figures are all here, okay. 
Okay, 70% of all internet traffic flows YouTube, okay? These are just things you can pull in from, from Google. Okay, I just, you know, okay, I can find it on my own. I don't need you to tell me about it. So the thing is, see the proof. Okay, what am I seeing proof of? So I'm just looking at this and, okay, YouTube channel management is a pain. Well, not really. I take it a step at a time. Each day I publish a new video, I deal with what I have to deal with in here to get the video published. Do I check figures from analytics? Certainly. But I don't do it that often because I've been told by my mentor, Philip Barrowman, that's just a very bad thing to do because you're, you're on a roller coaster, an emotional roller coaster. So... Um, I have a video about that too, about getting the right mindset. I'll link to that in a card up in the upper right hand corner of the video. But the thing is, I'm just looking here and I just can't find a reason, you know, for, for why I want to do this. Site map generator, okay? Why? Training, help desk, bonus, upgrade, you know, upgrade to what? Well, probably going to show you an upgrade plan. Now look at this. $37 for a product that I'm not even sure why I would, I would even need it. And $47 for a front end. Okay, so it's kind of like, I don't know, folks. <laughs> I just, this, this is, some of the stuff is true, but it's just stuff that you, Take with a grain of salt as you're growing, and you don't need to be buying this, trying to figure out and getting diverted into something that you don't need to spend your money on, don't need to spend your time on, and don't need it at all in the first place. So, I find this product to be, I just, big question mark, why? Why do I need to buy this product? And I just, I have a hard time finding out Finding a reason why. Like I said, there's a product demo here too. So it's just a thing. There's scarcity in here and everything else. And there's promise of money back. But again, I just wouldn't do it. And don't forget, this has already been out. Something just like this. Zing. A few weeks ago. Six figs. The Marsh Bari was out. Just a couple weeks ago I did a video. So, anyway, I'm going to rate this a 1 out of 10, and I just don't know why. I don't even know why. Not why I'm rating it that I'm rating it because you don't need it. Why do you need it? I can't see it being something you need. It's nothing spectacular. And some of the features, when I checked them out, I just wasn't impressed with them. Everything you get in normal YouTube is there when you become more of a professional follow down your line building your YouTube channel and you can spend money that you earn from money you're earning reinvest in TubeBuddy and, and TubeBeaks and products like that so I'm going to give it a 1 out of 10 I don't see that you need give me a big X on all these do not do any of this I can't see any need why you would want to do this but just keep that in mind I hope you like this video. I hope you got something out of this video. Just remember, I'm looking out for you. Just giving you tidbits, hopefully helping you to see things with a sharper eye and a clearer mind and take the emotion out and see what it is we're dealing with. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel. And if you haven't hit the notification, then please hit the notification so that you get notified every time I publish a new video to our channel. And I would just like to thank you today for watching this video review for YouTube opening on Monday, August 31st, 2020. Thank you for watching. See you later. Bye-bye.